So Kaleidos let you pick your own shades now. And I picked four that I think that would work perfect for myself and a lot of you guys out there. And if you want to see what's inside here, stay tuned. G'day guys, welcome to Yeah Night Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today I wanted to talk to you about the Kaleidos Cloud Lab Lip Clays. So these are a like vault set. I think they come in like, um, there's four lipsticks in each um, container and I think there's four of them. Now don't quote me because I haven't paid 100% attention because um, the lipsticks that they had in each of the uh, corresponding containers or tins um, didn't jump out at me but recently they have allowed you to pick your own tin and the colours, the shades that you want inside of that. That's what I've done today. Um, I originally wanted to get the Trophy Lab Clay Vault, um, the, the container. I thought that was pretty. That's this one right here. Um, but they were sold out at that time. So I ended up picking up this green one. I thought that was the next prettiest one after that. Um, except for maybe like this little flower thing here. Like, like I'm not a prude or anything like that, but every time I look at it, like when I first glance, I'm like vagina. Um, <laughs> but that's just like my dirty mind. I don't know if that's what they were going for with that, but that's what I see when I see it. And, um, I'm sure my teenage boys would probably feel the same way if they really looked at my stuff like that. Um, so I kind of like, I really wanted to display this on, um, on my vanity or something like that, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that right now, although it is pretty, I love the tin, it is convenient, I have my four picked shades inside, which I'm going to talk to you guys about in a minute. Now, this is the Flora Noir tin, and ordinarily, it would have four shades in it, which is Cactus Flower, which would be a vibrant, fruity neon fuchsia, then there would be a Gave, which, uh, was a fierce and intense dark green teal, um, then Mahogany, which was a warm tone, deep woody brown. And the other shade was Dahlia, which was a cool maroon red. The shades that I have picked is Bear, which is a nude pink champagne. Uh, pink Moon, which is a radiant warm pink, uh, petal pink. Uh, Sienna, which is a warm toned roasted chestnut brown. And Dune, which is a cool toned berry dusty rose. They're the shades that I've picked inside of this container and I think they are very very nice shades that almost anybody can wear um, and I've just been really really excited about what I've heard about this formula so this formula is supposed to be like a matte like a mm, I've got some little notes here actually I have only tried this once like I tried the shades on myself because I couldn't wait um, I was so excited but I will tell you what they say uh, let me see um, yeah, they call these uh, bold and highly saturated lip clays with a revolutionary matte texture which is cream to powder that have a soft feel. And you know what? I agree with them. I think these are amazing. I think that you need to be careful with the way that you apply them though. If you mess around too much or you try and layer it up, um, you might come into a few problems. But if you are, you know, relatively quick in the way that you put these on and you don't mess with it too much and don't too much, you're going to have an absolutely gorgeous application and look for a very, very long time. I love these and I just want to get into it with you guys. Um, yeah, I paid uh, $44 USD, which I think works out to be about $59 Australian. That was including postage. And that might seem like a lot, but our basic lipsticks that you can get from, you know, just any department store um, in town... You know, your Revlon, your Maybelline's, your, I don't know, L'Oreal's and all that sort of stuff, they start from about $10 each and they can get to about $50. And so $60 Australian divided by four, what's that, $15 each? Plus postage, plus this cute little tin. I think that's a bargain, actually. So um, if you're interested, jump online. You can pick your own shades. You can pick your own tin um, if you're lucky. And like, actually, I think I uh, got a um, coupon for signing up to the website or something like that. I think that's why my postage was free. I don't know, but I'll take it. Um, so if you can get yourself a postage, get it cheaper if you can. I'm always for that. In fact, I don't really buy anything unless it's on sale um, or I've got a coupon for it. So anyway. I want to try these on for you guys and um, let you know what I feel and uh, hopefully you see something that you like and this video is useful to you. So let's get into it. Alright, so this is the first shade that I wanted to show you guys. This is Bare. This is the nude champagne pink that I wanted to tell you guys about. Now I also want to remind you that 
I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not even really that good at makeup, but I do know what I like. I do know what's comfortable and I do know what I'd want to pay for, you know. So um, this is the shade. I hope that you can see it quite well. And I do apologize for the lip swatch. Like I said, I'm, I'm not perfect at lip swatches, but these feel amazing, guys. Like they will dry down and you can kiss and um, you're not going to leave sort of like residue. It's kind of funny, actually, like you can kiss someone and... You are going to leave a little residue, but it's like a clear gloss kind of residue, not the actual colour. You don't lose the colour on the other person. Um, so what that happens when these dry down. It's kind of like the matte dries down on your lips and then brings forward this lip balm sort of effect. I don't know, it's amazing, but um, I think these are my new favourites. These have taken over my favourites with Jeffree Star, um, dare I say it. The, I like this formula better, so um, I'm really looking forward to them bringing out some more shades, like shades that I feel comfortable wearing, because I think personally these four are probably the only ones that I'm comfortable wearing or that I feel kind of like me. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not generally a boring lipstick kind of person, but I just, hmm... There's just some shades that just really don't work for me. So anyway, guys, this is Bear. I hope you like it. I'll pause for a minute. I love this shade. I mean, I think it is a nice wearable shade. And um, yeah, I can see myself getting a lot of use out of this one. On to the next shade. This is Pink Moon. This has got a little bit more colour than um, I typically like to wear in the pink range. Like, I don't wear a lot of pinks. I kind of like, um, I don't know, the maroon browns and, and that sort of shade. That's what I'm digging at the moment, but I really do enjoy this. I think it's fantastic for um, spring, which we're in right now. So, are we? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we're, we are. Are we? Wait, I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> I think we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, because hay fever season. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, this is the Warm Tone Petal Pink. Um, this is absolutely lovely as well. This one feels like a little bit moosier. Like, I can feel this one just a little bit more than the other one, but that's okay. Like, I'm not mad at it. It feels really, really lovely on the lips. And um, looking at myself in, in my viewfinder, I don't hate it, like, even in the mirror. No, I really, really like this one. Like, I think that maybe this one pops my eyes, like the blue in my eyes, just a little bit more. And I think this is just a lovely shade, and I think it'll look good on a lot of people as well. So let's move on to the next shade. Um, these next two, I, I uh, one of them I really, really love, and the other one I didn't think I was going to like at all. It was just like a shot in the dark and a hope. But I'm going to try that one on for you next, and I'm going to leave the one that I love to last. You tell me which one looks better. So actually, I'd love to know that. Which one of these lipsticks, at the end of the video, you let me know what you think looks better on me. Because you just never know, like, what you think looks good on you and other people think that something else looks better. It's really interesting to sort of look at that. Anyway, let's move on. All right, guys, so this is the one that I didn't think that I was actually going to like when I was picking them. This shade is Sienna, and this is the warm-toned toasty chestnut brown that I was telling you about. But when I put it on, I didn't hate what I saw, you know? Like, I was... I'm not generally into colors that lean a little bit orangey or a little bit yellowy or anything like that but actually i think this one is fabulous i love this and i would definitely wear this i think i would probably wear this more so in like um autumn or even possibly winter but um i don't hate this i i think it's actually quite flattering and um yeah no i really do enjoy it there's just something about this shade um that I've tried like with other brands that just doesn't work for me. I don't know. Maybe it's just slightly tweaked a little bit different. I don't know. I, I can't put my uh, finger on it, but I really enjoy it. So, um, hmm. and I, once again, I think this is another wearable shade for a lot of you guys out there as well. So, um, there you go. And last but not least, this is June. This is currently my favorite. This is a cool toned berry dusty rose. Um, I love this shade. This is kind of like the shade that I'm digging at the moment. Um, so like I'm currently mostly wearing, uh, what is it, MAC Whirl. And this is the kind of vibe that I get from that as well. I mean, they're obviously not the same shade. There's something about these type of colours at the moment that I'm really, really digging. And I don't seem to be able to word wording things properly at the moment. So please forgive me. My mouth and my brain are just not connecting properly today. But anyway, I absolutely love this colour and I've seen it on so many different people and it is so flattering. And that was the reason pretty much why I wanted to buy this. Now, don't get me wrong, I love these other colours and I'm probably going to get equal wear out of all of them. But this is, June is what drove me to pull the trigger and actually get this set of four. So um, I'm very, very happy, very pleased to have been able to get this one. I was so worried that it was going to be sold out on the website. Um, 
and it wasn't so yay um but yeah anyway look i pretty much told you what the formula like is but i pretty much told you what the formula is like it's it's very very comfortable to wear i wore it for about mm, eight hours before i started to see it disappearing obviously it does come off with food especially oily food i did notice that but the wear down's not terrible um i i didn't like i looked in the mirror quite frequently and i didn't see any sort of like um crunchiness or or the wear down is lovely or what can i say it is for me anyway i really do hope that um this works for you too because i do know that other people's lips are different, you know, their skin texture is different. I don't know, but for me, these are fabulous. I absolutely love it. And, um, yeah, there's not much else that I can say about it, actually. I'm just, I really do enjoy them. Uh, what else can I say? And, um, yeah, I think it's absolutely fantastic that they're allowing us now to pick um, the shades that we like. I don't actually know whether you can buy them individually without buying them in the case. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think you can just buy two. Although I don't really know, so mm. so I'm really excited to have this in my collection um, and I can't wait for them to bring out more shades. Uh, I definitely will. If they bring out another four shades that I feel that is wearable for myself personally, I will so be all over that. <laughs> I will be all over that. Anyway, um, I don't seem to be able to form proper sentences at the moment, so I'm going to try and cut this as short as possible. I really do hope that you got something out of my video today, whether it helped you pull the trigger on whether you wanted to make a Kalados purchase. One of the things that I do regret that I didn't pick up that I've heard a lot of good things about, I can't actually remember what it's called, but I'm going to put it on the screen here. If you can get a hold of this, apparently this stuff is fabulous. Um, I do want to get some of it. I wish I had have just waited a little bit, watched a few more videos, but instead I was just in a rush. I just really, really wanted this and I hadn't brought anything in a while because, you know, all this lockdown stuff has made me depressed and um, we're not going to go into that. Um, but, you know, so I was kind of a bit funny about, should I buy lipsticks? You know, I'm going to be wearing a mask. Wah, wah, wah. Anyway, I decided to pull the trigger and I do not regret it. And um, if you like what you saw today, please feel free. Give me a thumbs up. It goes a long way into helping getting my video out there. And if you're new to my channel and you want to see more, please feel free. Click that bell. Uh, subscribe as well. Um, and uh, I really do hope to see you in my next video. If you heard a lot of noise in the background, I do apologize. I do have kids at home. It's almost impossible to record lately. And um, for those who have been around for a while, if you've noticed that my audio is different, uh, I got a new mic for my birthday. I'm so excited. So um, hopefully uh, you should be able to hear me better. It shouldn't be as tinny. And um, yeah, I'm so excited for the future. I've got so much new uh, stuff coming. Uh, in, in regards to equipment to make my videos better and um, I got some interesting ideas on the horizon that I'd like to bounce off you guys and see how you feel about it but um, until then I will see you in my next video. Bye!